it has happened with all of us. Sometimes the classes are just too boring to handle and sometimes scheduled at such unusual timing that you can't help but sleep on it. What the teacher is saying is far from our comprehension and while we keep checking our watch, hoping for the class to end as soon as possible so that you could get rid of this life-sucking hellhole. Dozing off in a lecture is safe as long as the teacher doesn't catch you. That's when it gets embarrassing, when you're almost on the verge of losing your respect in class at the same time losing marks in internals. And for a generation like ours with a very low attention span for whom staying awake in a boring class is harder than Chinese calculus, I've got you five most practical and effective ways to stay awake in a boring class. So let's get started. The first step is mindfulness. The class that you think is boring is rather an interesting class for the class topper. We usually find a class boring or we tend to get sleepy in a class when we are mentally not present there. In other words, when you want to listen to the lecture but you are trying too hard to think about your past or your future or your girlfriend or your favorite TV show, our mind is not wired to focus on two thoughts at the same time. If you do so, it will create confusion and then your brain will demand mental rest, hence causing you to fall asleep while in the class. So be present in the moment and that is what I call mindfulness. Just before the class starts, take three to four long breaths, inhaling from your nose and exhaling from your mouth. Like this. And then spend a minute or two feeling your surroundings, getting aware of your surroundings, like listening to the sound of the fan, getting aware of the sound, feeling the sensation of the air touching you, the sound of the students around. Now the purpose of this exercise is to make you aware of your surroundings and you know, get you out of your imaginary world where you're lost. This will actually help you stay in the moment and not lose your focus when the class starts. The second tip of course is sound sleep. You need to have a good sleep in advance so that you don't sleep in class, that's very obvious. You need to have at least 7 to 8 hours of decent sleep and by decent sleep I mean the kind of sleep which is not induced by scrolling your Instagram stories but the kind of sleep when you go to bed with the purpose of sleeping, not using your phone. Number 3. Don't stay hungry. Eat good food. Don't sit in the class with an empty stomach. If you are hungry and then attending the class, there's no chance that you will ever be able to focus on what the teacher is saying. Also eat brain-friendly food like lots of green vegetables, walnuts and don't eat oily and fried stuff before the class. That will make you feel more tired. The fourth tip, drink water. Keep a water bottle with you all the time with a little cold water and keep sipping it every time you feel sleepy during the class. Also before the class, have a stretch and wash your face with cold water. The last and one of the most important tips is what I call lecture mapping. Now this is the technique of making brief notes of what the teacher is saying. In other words, you have to keep the track of the whole topic on a piece of paper. So take a rough notebook and just note the track of the topic being taught in a couple of words and then connect the dots. This will help you stay in the moment and not lose the track of the lecture. Because often we start the class very actively, but accidentally lose the track of the topic being taught and then when we realize that we need to catch up with the topic, we are not able to comprehend what the teacher is telling. So when such a situation arises, you can use this technique. Because if you lose the track of the topic, the classroom sleep cycle will kick in. Bonus tip, share this video with all those who sleep a lot in classes. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that every time, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday I come on YouTube and post a new video, you're the first one to watch it. See you in the next video.